How's it going? This is Helmi, YouTube Funnels. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I got this company, 121 leads from my YouTube vlogs. So I'm gonna break down step-by-step step so you can apply the same thing for your business too. So you too can have an inbound lead generating machine. So this is a tech company trying to revolutionize the used car industry, uh, which is plagued by scams. So they're bringing transparency to the industry. Really good stuff. The concept works really well. However, because when they were new, not a lot of people trust them. So that's where I decided to sell my wife's car on Carso and vlog my experience. And before we get to the results, let's head back to the studio. All right, so here are Carsim's lead gen results from my vlog videos. 32,100 plus total views, 121 plus new user signups from two YouTube vlog videos. And here's the trend of the signup throughout three years. I released the vlog in 2021 and it's still getting leads up until today in 2023. Amazing. So here are the two lead generating YouTube vlogs. I experimented with two different languages. If you're contemplating what language should you do, just ask who's your target audience. Select a language that resonates the best with your target audience. Okay, so here's CarSim's before and after. So before, they may rely on paid ads to get leads. After the YouTube funnel, they get qualified users organically for years, as you can see from my graph here. Before number two, prospects don't really trust the brand because it's a new company. But after they see a lot of YouTube tutorial videos online, prospects gain trust from these videos and sign up. So before YouTube funnel number three, they may get low quality inactive users. But after the YouTube funnel, these are the people who feel that my story resonates with them, their problems. They want to have the similar results as me. So Carson gets revenue generating users from my vlogging YouTube videos. Okay, so how does my YouTube funnel work? I'm gonna give you an overview. So the first step is to identify your target audience pain points. Second, you're going to vlog your experience using your SaaS or service to solve those pain points. Step number three, we're gonna repurpose that YouTube video into a blog post and a Twitter thread. Finally, the call to action for all of my content is to get them to sign up as a new user for that service or SaaS. So this was an overview, but enough about me. Now it's your turn to get leads. Just follow these six steps. All right, step number one, identifying your target client's pain points. So you probably considered buying a used car at some point in your life too, because you don't want to buy a new car at sticker price. You don't have time to wait for a new car to be built and delivered to you. And by buying a used car, you can afford a better category of car. So it makes sense, right? Logical stuff. But what's stopping most people from buying a used car? Well, they're probably afraid of getting a lemon. That means a car that's already been in an accident or flood damage. Two, you're probably afraid of hidden fees at the dealers. Like they're not being transparent with you. It says this much price, but then when you're about to sign, oh, we have this fee and that fee. And it all adds up to be a lot of money. And because of that, you probably don't have a good experience at the used car dealer. And lastly, if you buy a used car, you're already taking a risk. And when something is wrong with the car, it's not covered under warranty. That means you have to pay for it yourself. So list down as many objections as you can find from your target audience, their desires, their fears, their objections. Your vlog will document your journey of using the service or SaaS to solve these problems. But before you create any video though, you gotta do one thing. And that's step number two, setting up your funnel. Make sure you've got a way to convert the potential views that you're gonna get into leads. In other words, you gotta collect their emails. So this process is called building a funnel. So in my scenario, Carson already have a signup page. So if you're a SaaS company, make sure you place the signup link in the YouTube video description. If your business is not a SaaS, you still need to collect leads and you can easily do that with WordPress or Wix or ClickFunnels or an email software like ConvertKit or MailChimp. So now we got the technical bit out of the way, let's move on to the next step. So step number three, you gotta vlog your experience. So this is where many marketers struggle. You have to become a real user of your SaaS or service to demonstrate how it can solve your target audience's pain points. So vlogging means you talk to the camera as if it's a close friend at a bar, kind of like how I'm doing right now. It's not so scripted, it's not supposed to be polished. The casual imperfection and the intimate nature of this conversation is what makes a good vlog and the audience will feel attached to the character, which is you. So when you're vlogging though, you don't have to worry that things that doesn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes when you encounter problems, it shows that you are genuine and therefore it makes you look very trustworthy. So I'm gonna give you an example. We wanted to sell my wife's car on Carson. So here's the plot of our vlog. I registered an account with Carson. I set up an appointment for Carson to inspect our car. I got a valuation from Carson. We weren't really happy with that valuation amount. So we decided to do the bidding service. After which, we got a price that was a lot higher than what we expected, surprisingly. We agreed and we got paid. End of story. All right, step number four, a high converting vlog formula. 
bookmark this. Number one, you gotta introduce a very relatable problem. So in my case, I don't wanna get ripped off when I was selling my used car, so that's a very relatable problem. Number two, if your service or SaaS is like a new solution in the market, you can tell a little bit of backstory of how typically people will solve their problem before you exist. So step number three, you have to agitate their problems a little bit. If the audience is afraid of getting ripped off, agitate that problem. If they're afraid of buying a lemon, agitate that problem. Now step number four, now you introduce the solution, which is your service or SaaS, but make it short, between 30 to 60 seconds. Don't make it too long. Step number five, you gotta vlog your experience and show everything step by step. Include everything, the goods and the bads. Now step number six, you gotta give your own personal rating and honest pros and cons. Now step number seven, your call to action. You gotta tell the audience if they want something similar to what you've just experienced in your vlog, ask the audience to click on the link on the YouTube video description. Now make sure you use timestamps throughout your YouTube video so the audience can skip to exactly where they wanna be. Here's an example. On the left side, we got the timestamps and at the bottom here is my sign up link. So here are my two vlogging videos. The content is identical. The only difference is one is in English and the other one is in the local language, Basin Malaysia. So the English video totally flopped. 1.7K views. However, the exact same video in the local language took off with a whopping 31,000 views. So what you can learn from this two language experiment is really know who your target audience is. In, in this example, Sim is a local Malaysian company. So it makes a lot of sense to do content in the local language. So even with a good YouTube vlogging formula, your videos might still be really boring. So to fix this, let's move on to the next step. Okay, so step number five, some tips on how not to be boring. Because sometimes when you're explaining something, it's typically very dry, so you don't want to bore the audience. You want them to watch your entire 10 minute video. So I posted those two videos two years ago, and at the time that was the best of my ability, but it's been two years and I've picked up a lot of skills along the way. So here are some tips to help you make a better, more interesting video. Tip number one, clear audio. People can tolerate a bad video, but they can't tolerate a bad audio. Make sure you have an external mic. Currently I'm using a wireless mic right here. I'll leave the link down below. So tip number two, change scenes every 15 seconds or so, because if you're just sitting at home in your studio talking for 10 minutes, it's so boring, it's too dry. So what you can do is change the angle of the camera. One scene you're like this, the other scene you're like this, the other scene you're like this, and you can also do a walking around like this while talking. So the audience doesn't get too bored. Be as genuinely helpful as possible in your vlog. And if you do this thing right, you're gonna start seeing comments like this on your YouTube video. Great content, bro, keep it up. Very clear, good sharing. So after publishing your YouTube videos though, it may take some time to gain traction. So here's a little trick that I do to get leads quickly while we wait for YouTube algorithm to work its magic. So step number six, repurpose your YouTube video for maximum reach. Here's how I do it. You already uploaded your YouTube video. The script, if you expand it a little bit, that becomes your blog post. Publish that blog post on your website and that's really great for SEO traffic. From the blog post, I can extract bits of information and repurpose that into a Twitter thread. So a viral Twitter thread can get you leads immediately, but usually it dies off around 24 to 48 hours. So that's where the SEO blog and the YouTube video will kick in to get leads for you long term. So combining a viral thread together with YouTube is a powerful marketing strategy. Well, there you go. Let's wrap up the key takeaway here. Step number one, identify your target audience pain points. Step number two, set up your funnel. Step number three, vlog your experience as a user to solve those problems. Step number four, high converting vlog formula. Step number five, tips to not be boring in your videos. And step number six, repurpose YouTube videos for maximum reach. These are the exact steps that I use to get leads for my clients. And you can replicate these step by step to get results for your business too. However, if you don't have time nor the talent to do this yourself and you need help building an inbound lead generating machine with YouTube, book a call with me and let's talk. My name is Helmi, YouTube Funnels Guy. See ya.